Hello, 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 hello. How's it going? How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a good Wednesday. It is Wednesday, and we are going to be farming on this wonderful Wednesday because it is time for the uh, Story of Seasons Wonderful Life remake. Um, this is very exciting because uh, this was my very first Harvest Moon game. Um, this was like, it's funny, I'd say this was the game that got me into this series. It kind of wasn't. Like, I had this as a kid, and you know, and I, I remember me and my siblings all playing this on, on the GameCube growing up. But it wasn't until like, New Beginning came out, like Tale of Two Towns New Beginning, I think, that I then actually got into the series and like, followed the series. Wonderful Life was just that I had this game as a kid, and I thought it was great. Um... I say, and I, even then, I say I thought it was great. I think I, be I barely ever got past the first year. I do like the first chapter, maybe a little bit of the second one, and that's as far as I can remember. Um, <laughs> I was never a good one for beating Harvest Moon games uh, when I was growing up. Um, and then I became a Harvest Moon speedrunner, so life works in mysterious ways. And then I stopped being a Harvest Moon speedrunner. Um, so yeah, this, this game has kind of special connection to this channel as, as well, because not only was it my first Harvest Moon game, it was pretty much the game that I'm pretty sure got me into streaming. I may have been doing a couple of things here and there, like, beforehand, but I really started, like, properly streaming when um, when I started doing speedruns of this game. So, uh, playing this remake is going to be... It's going to be fun. It's going to be... It's going to be fun to see what happens past the first two months. Because, because I, I haven't played this game in a casual sense since I was a kid, and even then I rarely made it past that first year. Um, and in a speedrunning sense, you don't, you, you rarely ever go past like the second day of summer. So, <laughs> so I don't remember how most of this goes, game goes, and I've it's been a very long time since I've played this game normally, if you want to call it that. So that's what we're doing tonight. We're playing the Wonderful Life remake. Let's go. Let's let's play it. And I feel like I have to, you know, have to have to be like, it's a bearer of bad news already because they changed the fucking song. It's the, the song I was just playing was the title was like the title screen music to uh, to the original. What the fuck is this? This ain't fucking. This ain't the game I grew up with. This ain't Wonderful Life. Immediate zero out of ten. Refund, please. Go home. Uh, this is gonna be the first time I've read this intro in a very long time and not just mashed through it. It all started with a letter. I can't remember how many years ago it's been since I got one. I had this friend once. We used to share all our hopes and dreams with each other. And the sender of this letter, his kid. The letter was all about life in the city. The kid, the, the kid asked a bunch of questions about farming and at the end wrote, I'd like to try working the farm. To a city kid, I guess life in Forgotten Valley must have been must have seemed appealing. And it took me by surprise, I'll say that much. I closed my eyes and saw my old friend smile just like it was yesterday. It takes guts to travel all the way from the big city to Forgotten Valley. Place most most folks well forgotten about. Yeah, I will be the very boring, like <laughs> most default character possible. Do you want to have a normal face, or do you want to have like slight, slight resting bitch face? <laughs> it's up to you. You're gonna look like you're just having none of it. Okay, you get that change your hairstyle. That's cool. It's got, I feel like it's kind of gonna be weird not looking at like the regular character. With like you know the re the regular hairstyles like that that's that's weird I I, I, I kind of don't like it I'm like no no you can't you can't make me play as someone else in this game no I have to play as like you know the default guy 
Oh, I have to type in my keyboard. Good. So I'm playing. I'm playing the PC version. Oh, you're Uber, huh? I'm real sorry to hear about your old man. He was a good guy. He's gonna make a lot of friends in the next life, I bet. I gotta say, though, you must take after him. No average young'un would want to pack up and come to Forgotten Valley of all places. Well, once you spend a little time here, I'm sure you'll figure out it, if it's really the life you want. Alright, this is it. The land your old man and I found. The buildings are run down for sure, but you can still use them. Thought it was fertile enough to grow crops on too. I was gonna, I was gonna flip my shit if they didn't have this song in. Um, <laughs> I was gonna, I was, I was gonna be so mad if they didn't have breeze in. This is like classic, the classic wonderful life experience. Just only listening to this song because you never figured out. But there are more songs on like the record player. <laughs> this past year, if you spread some fertilizer on it, you'll, you'll have a place for your livestock to graze. How about a kid ready to take over the farm? Yeah, you can say no here and the game just ends. It was like that in the original. Actually, I said it was like that in the original. I don't think it was in the original GameCube version, I think it was in the original. It was in like the PS2 special edition, I believe. I don't, I don't think it was in the GameCube version, but I might be wrong on that. But I'm pretty sure I'm not. <laughs> well, they might as well give you the grand tour. So here's the barn. It's where you'll raise cows, horses, and sheep. I'll take you inside later. Here's the shipping bin. Get to know it, because it's going to be your best friend. If you have milk or any other products to ship, put them in here. I'll sell them for you at the city market the next morning. If there's something you want me to buy, write it down in the ledger here. There's your storage shed and your food storage. If your bag ever get, starts getting too full, you can throw items you don't need in one of those. I kind of read that very weirdly. Like I put, I put like pauses and like full stops in the different places. I'll put the smaller items you buy and any profits you make here. Other Pokemon you gifts or reward around here too, so keep an eye out for those. This is the coop, you might have guessed. But this is where you'll raise your chickens. There is one of your fields. You can plant seeds there, but you'll need a hoe to plant the soil first. Speaking of which, I got a few pack of seeds and some basic tools for you try it's been a long time since i've had to read on stream and now like my brain is like <laughs> chugging along in the worst possible way it's like come on come on you can do this really getting those reading gear grinding oh i guess a couple of stray dogs settled in here looks like they've already warmed up to you all right all right i'll let you keep one but just one all right i ain't a huge fan of dogs <laughs> T tough titties for you takakura it's my fucking farm now I'll, p I'll have both, so thank you very much. For whatever reason, when I was a kid, I always thought the pointy-eared dog was like a cat. I don't know why. I was like, oh, it's got pointy ears, so it's obviously not a dog. Uh, dogs don't have pointy ears. <laughs> I, I must have been a very stupid kid. <laughs> uh, God, what do I always call the dog? Oh, I know what I call the dog. Just uh, with a G capital G. No, 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 no capital. Okay, that's confusing. Hester, yeah, Hester. Oh my god, I'll try to find a note for the other pup next time I head to the city. Because I'll buy the little one a dog house too. This here is your house. Try to fix it up a bit before you arrive, so you should be able to settle right in. Huh? Oh, my house? See that cabin over there? That's where I live. Well, that covers the main facilities. Ain't much, but if you save up, maybe you can expand some of them. Oh, before I forget, I said we'd go in the barn later, didn't I? Well, it's later. Follow me. 
Follow me. What's your cow as a welcome present? Her feed bin is all set up over there. Oh, and she'll need a name too. What do you call a cow? <laughs> that sounds like the setup to either an insult or a joke. <laughs> like, like a setup that I've forgotten half of the setup to. Like, what do you call a cow? Like, what, what do you mean? What do you call a cow? <laughs> what do you call it here? Yeah. It was like, what do you call a cow that does something? You know, that blanks. I think no. I'm terrible with names, by the way. I'm awful with naming things. It's much easier when I speedrun the game. You just go A, and then you're done. You go A, everyone called A. A, 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 done. You say, what's this cow's name? It's called A, fuck it. On to the next one. On to the next cow. No, you gotta fucking... You gotta click it first before it... Just, you know, if I just... If I just... G gay socks. <laughs> gay socks. That's not a great name. I don't know if I did mash the keyboard, maybe maybe inspiration will strike. Um. Brenda. I don't know why Brenda. What? I, I I don't know why it's allergic to fucking capital letters. I swear to God, my caps lock does work, but it just goes no ah -uh. no it fucking doesn't actually. She gave birth about 10 days ago, so she'll produce plenty of milk. Good for you, Brenda. As long as she's healthy, you should be able to milk her twice a day. Oh, I feel weird that I called her Brenda. <laughs> Is that a normal thing? Well, like... Do people give cows, like... Human names? Like, they, they, yeah, this is my cow, Brenda. I, I milk her twice a day. But enough... <laughs> but enough about the missus. <laughs> I think that was someone's about the farm. Oh wait, we've got to decide a name for it. Any ideas? Ah, oh, see now this I do have a name for. Oh, there you go. So uh, hang on. Right, caps lock is definitely on. The fucking caps lock just doesn't work. You have to shift. You have to use shift. What w wankery is that? Fix, fix your game, marvelous. Waffle farm. Hmm, has a nice ring to it. Sure. I've got you, I might as well introduce you to the locals. N no social butterfly, but a young like you is sure to charm the heck out of them. Whoa. Whoa, game rated M for mature. Dirty language. Mm, what's the matter? Thanks, but I'll pass on the intros. Yeah, I, I already know all these people from like... 20-ish years ago when this game was made originally, I think. Except everyone's got like different names now, and it's like, ugh. It says the layover in. Tay runs this place with his wife, Lou. Her son, Rock, lives with them too. And you know what? It's been so long since I've played this game, I can't remember what some of these characters actually were called. Oh, there's a girl named Nami who's staying up on the second floor. Is it Gary? Gary? That definitely wasn't his name. Gary. That's not a fucking Gary. That's a... Uh, fucking Gerald. That's a... <laughs> fucking... Garadolf. <laughs> Some old guy now. His wife, Nina. Like, she's got a somewhat oldish name. Gary. Fucking Gary. He's not called Gary, mate. Give over. This is Chris. That's Chris's husband. No, no, he's Wally. He's called Wally. He's called Wally. He's always Wally to me. Gavin. Gavin. I believe it was it really Griffin? Griffin in the original? It definitely wasn't called Gavin. Gavin here is the owner and head barista at the Bluebird Cafe. Molly. Molly. No. I mean, Muffy wasn't a name anyway. Like, they just fucking... They, they, they tried their fucking, like, my mash the keyboard and see what comes out. Like, for her original name inspiration. But okay. 
while he helps him out part time. Romana here owns the villa where she lives with her granddaughter, Lumina. The butler over there is called Sebastian. I think those are all the same. Oh, the guy playing guitar has some stuff. He's a real character, always strumming some tune or another. I don't think these guys got introductions to the original ones. <laughs> like, like there was definitely like a subset of characters who like, like after that section, after you meet uh, Muffy in the original, they then go to Celia's farm, and then you just sort of look over the like the the river, and he goes, yeah, and there's some like other freaks and weirdos who live in the village as well. Like, you don't have to meet them; they're nutters. <laughs> the guy over there is Gordy, a man of few words, but a real passionate artist, apparently. That's Vesta, she runs the agricultural farm here. Over there is Matthew, her little brother. Cecilia helps them both with the farm work. It's funny because I didn't think I thought I didn't think um Celia was a real name either when I grew up. But actually but apparently it is. Like yeah, it actually is uh a name as well. Like, unlike, you know, Muffy. Muffy is not a name. Sorry to any Muffies out there. But you know, your parents hate you. <laughs> <laughs> they sell seeds here, so take a look at their stock when you get a chance. For the folks live in that direction, we've got the twins who craft fireworks and an oddball scientist. Best not to ask about experiments. Plus... There's an archaeolo archaeologist staying in a tent up by the waterfall there. He and his assistant dig up all sorts of weird stuff. They're all freaks and weirdos, and you should avoid them at all costs. That's verbatim what he says in the original game. Very exhausted, it's been a long day, so take it easy for now. Think of any other questions for me later, don't hesitate to ask, alright? Oh yeah, there's something I forgot to give you. <gasps> this camera belonged to your old man, ain't the newest model obviously, but it does the job well enough. So I take it a test photo real quick. Man's got fucking Lego hands. Use it whenever you're feeling, uh, photographic. Photographic. And get some rest, kid, you've earned it. Ooh, never seen a nature spray like that before. Hey, hey, who could it be? He's the fuck out of me! These fucking guys, effing and jeffing all over the shop. What the fuck is their problem? As far as I know, we're the only nature sprites in Forgotten Valley. Yeah, yeah, so what are you looking at? What, what are we lo What are you looking at? What the fuck are you looking at? Poor motherfucker. Good question. Hey, buddy, what's your problem? <laughs> You're a nature sprite named Uber. Roger that. The name's Ace. What? Ace? Why did I say that like that? Nice to meet you. Uh, I'm Jack. Nice to greet you. And my name's Hart. Uh, let's be Freetia. Oh, okay. Come on, whatever the fuck, heart, you fucking ruined the thing. You fucking ruined the, the pattern we were going for. You know, nice to meet you, nice to greet you. Something, something, show me your, your feature. <laughs> What's your best feature? I go for a feet joke, but it's sort of, you know, feature actually is a word. Wow, you actually, they actually tell you when Van's coming into town. Easily avoidable. Howdy anglers, today we've got Skylar from Dewdrop Village to see what's biting in the rivers around here. How's the fishing, Skylar? Fish? What fish? You think I have time to send a landing lunkers when I got wild bears and monkeys stealing my catches? Because of that, I'm plumb out of food and I'm starving. What's worse, I slipped and fell in the river because I was feeling woozy. These mountain streams are cold, man. My ma didn't even let me bring it a lunch on this trip. I should have known this was going to happen. Okay, uh, I think we get the gist of things. 
Thank you for the support, Skylar, and thank you, dear audience, for tuning in. Damn, her life is bad. <laughs> hey, wait up a sec. Before you go, don't forget to check the tech records and notes and find them on the side table. Yeah, she knows have a lot of helpful stuff in them. Check them out before you go. What the fuck I want, actually? <laughs> don't, don't eat it. I've played this game before. I ain't no noob. You got a lot to learn about farming. Uh, really don't answer your question. Funny enough, actually, I never, like, I really would don't actually remember that much about this game. Like, beyond, well, beyond anything past, like, the first two months. Everything past the first chapter is a complete surprise to me. First, you gotta learn how to make a living through something you to pick. More profit means more facilities. Da, 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 da. Four seasons, less than 10 days. I have a festival for each season. I don't know if that was in the original. I don't remember festivals. Maybe I just never went to them. I mean, that was pretty much just like, hey, you played Harvest Moon Kid? Yeah, it's like that. Hey, hey, these are one of your fields. If you want to find out more about raising crops, don't forget to check Takakora's notes. Okay. Crops, till your fields with a hoe before sowing seeds. Make sure you sow them in the right season too. Each crop you grow is one of three categories. Basic fruits and veggies, root crop and tree crop. Crop thrive in different seasons, so make sure you read the labels and plant your schedule. Haha, <laughs> sorry, had to. I don't get it. Fruits, veggies, and root crops need water daily if you want them to grow, but trees are just fine with that. And keep an eye on the shade and colour of your soil. If it's lighter, that means you should means you, your crop could use a drink. Be careful when planting trees, they need space to properly grow, so leave plenty of room for them. Two, full, two small fields right now. You could probably make an amazing field out of that space in the back. Soil quality varies between fields. The field next to the coop isn't too fertile, but the one further out is a bit better. Some crops will grow if the soil quality is good, so be sure you get the right soil for the job. And you plant seeds all willy nilly. Some crops grow only grow in certain seasons or soil types. One of the ideal conditions for growing for growing a crop: examine the bag of seeds before you sow them. If crop only grows in certain seasons, plant them as early as you can so they don't wither away. They got rid of the, uh, the the big fuck off building that was here. This, this, the storage used to be a big building. Now it's just a dirty little shack. This is for your animals. If you have any questions about raising, you take a course. No, it's my coming hand. I know how to play games. <laughs> and if I don't, then I will fail and I will live with my failures. Stop it. We need all animals, put them in ledger and bring them here. Animals need to be fed. Animals like to be brushed. Do with all that. Uh, okay. Cool. Yeah. Pretend, pretend like you know. I've read any of that. All right, Brenda. The lowercase b, because this game is fucking wacky. Doesn't like the cat flock. Thank you, I think Brenda. Oh, Bre Brenda and Jester are the only, like, uh, are the only casualties of the cat flock incidents. Thank you, because, um. My character uses zeros instead of O's. Matter. Alright, uh, do I have a brush? No, I've got a milker though. Alright, come on, Brenda, it's time to get milked.
This is very weird. It's surreal playing a game like this. It's just like, I don't know. Like, I've played remakes of, like, games I played as a kid before, but I don't know. It feels weird to play this one. Well, well, well. That's a pretty deep well. Whoa. Well, this game's funny. I like it. What's up? Name's definitely not Gary. Fucking Gary. He's, he's so old. His name's not Gary. Gary's aren't allowed to live to this age. <laughs> Gary, there's no old people called Gary. They don't exist. Don't allow it. You get past a certain age, change your fucking name. You can't be called Gary anymore. Get over it. What? Who are you? Oh, Uber, right? I'm Takakura mentioned. My wife Nina and I used to live in the city, but once we started getting on in the years, we decided to move out here for a change of pace. Up, Nina. Oh, you're that new farmer, aren't you? My husband, Gary. Definitely nice name. And I'm getting on in years, you see, so we decided to save the time we have left by staying here in Forgotten Valley. Did you give me any starting seeds? You did, you did. Okay. Probably use them, then. Fucking... The fucking directions are locked. <laughs> Why are the fucking directions locked? I've got a plain analog. They're like locked into like... Welvish directions. Sort of like one... There's like two directions in between each four. Yeah, there's twelve, but it's weird. Why why is that? Right, uh where's my hoe? One more, I guess. How do I open this? We're in spring to autumn. Fucking... <laughs> Fucking smash! Smash the crop into ground! Mm. Yes. Important strafe button. It looks so natural. <laughs> uh, I'm never going to get that right. Fuck it, let's start growing a tree. Wonders collected. The heck is this? Poor jump beggar. Okay, you can teach him tricks. That's kind of cool. Hey, how you doing? Oh, that is huge. It's perfect for jogging. There's no chance of bumping into anyone. I track coach in the city, and to be honest, it'd be easier on my family if we lived closer to everything. We moved out here, so I'd have much more room to run. Sorry, I added the word much there. Uh, I didn't mean to put words into uh, Sully's... Sully? Is that his name? I've forgotten his name, because his name's not actually his name. You're called Sully, right? Sully, yeah, yeah. He used to be a big name athlete, you know, until I twitched my ankle and race now I'm just a coach.
The raccoon must live around here. Oh, working in the field. <laughs> Made that oh, working in the field tires you out. Oh. But yeah, yeah, all, all right. Let's put more love and care into our crops than anyone I know. That's why all our produce tastes so good. Uh, sorry, did you want to purchase anything from us today? Great, okay. Good for you. Good to hear it. Still got some of those classic sound effects. They go, they go like, you know, redo all the music, but they'll still have like crusty ass. <laughs> I like to to make salad with most of the ones. On the farm are for our clients, so I can't ask Vesta for any. Wanted tomato any. Milky soup. I need the energy. Milky soup. Now you all of them learnt the recipe for milky soup. Uh, I don't know if he's going to tell me where I get the information from milky soup from. Like, uh, I wasn't sure if the fertilizer was meant to be used like purely on this type, but like on the pasture, or... I wanted that, but yeah, okay. I get it. Sick jump! I don't know what I'm doing there. Oh, I'm teaching to spin. Yeah. Uh, how do I make milky soup? Oh, it's just milk. Oh, easy peasy. I've got milk. That's not soup. That's just milk. That's just warm milk. That's not a soup. That's just milk. This, I mean... Mmm, this milky soup is great. What, what, did, what did you, uh, what did you put in it? Oh, milk. Oh, I mean, I get yeah, it. Like, what else? Uh, nothing else. Literally just milk. That's not a soup, then. That's just milk. That is, it's not, it's not milky soup. Milk. Maybe if, if, I don't know, maybe it's you've done something to it to have it more, make it have more of a soup texture. But then it's just soupy milk, surely. And not milky soup. That's... I don't like that. I don't like the idea of milky soup that's so literally just milk. That you, you, you giving somebody... I'm giving somebody a bowl of milk. Like, they, you know, they're gonna fucking lap at it like they're a cat. I was on a visit, but we had some leftover crops after the harvest, so we wanted to share some with you. Oh, if these are tomatoes, you're gonna be well pleased with what you get in a bit. You have fields on your farm too, right? Raising crops is wonderful. Just like life for this wonderful life. I've never done anything more rewarding or fun, but it definitely challenged you to do your best. Is there anything you're having trouble with? If you have any questions along the way, don't be afraid to ask. I'll do my best to help. Hee <laughs> hee. It's no trouble at all. I'm just happy there's another person who around who shares my passion for crops. Hope you and I could be good friends. You said it, CC. Helping our neighbours is what we do best. Hey there. Oh, I must have lost track of time. We started chatting about the farm. 
Fine, it's fine, no worries. Cece hasn't had too many other folks she can talk to, talk with, so to speak, but now you're here. When she heard you were coming to the valley, she was thrilled, bursting at the seams to meet you, really. Vesta. Whoops, might have said a bit too much still. I hope you and Cece get to be like two peas in a pod. I'm so glad. I'm sure the two of you have a lot you want to talk about, but we don't want to overstay our welcome now, do we? Oh, no, I suppose we shouldn't. We can talk again next time you're free, okay? Is there something wrong? Ah, just thinking it's all about Uva. You too? He seems like such a kind person. I'm real glad he is, but that's about we keep this between us girls, alright? Don't go telling Matt too much. What? Why not? How do I put this? He's a little overprotective of you. I want to make sure he can be pals with Uber too, so let's not give him any reason to be suspicious of Anhuna. I haven't done anything! <laughs> what? <laughs> hmm. A guy. Being a guy and all. Yes, I understand. Oh. Okay. All of a sudden, I like get extreme close up. Alright, uh. Back to the hose. I remember watching, like, uh, my brother and my sister play this when I was a kid. They would always put, like, their crops in, like, a sort of checkerboard pattern. I don't know if that's how you were supposed to do it. But that's how they did it. And, like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do it. It's clearly not how I'm doing it now. But, no, that, 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 that was a thing in at least older Harvest Moon games is you had to be, like, very specific with how you planted your crops because if you planted them slightly wrong you'd be like oh these crops are no longer accessible because they wouldn't let you like walk over them or jump over them or something so they'd be all fucking wacky and you know you, you could only get you wouldn't you know you wouldn't be able to get to some crops if you did it in a certain way <clears throat> hello there so here, do you have time for a quick chat? Think about those freaks and weirdos off in the, uh, off in the corner of the valley. I just adore this view, it always helps me settle down. The rushing water, the gentle breeze, you just don't get this in the city. <laughs> oh, the city, you say? Oh, that's where I used to live, you know? Some things went sour and I ended up moving to Forgotten Valley. <clears throat> Every once in a while when I'm staring out at the river, I think back on my old heartache. Hee <laughs> hee, just kidding. Clean air in the valley has done wonders for my skin, so I like to make sure I spend some time outside every day. Yeah, see for yourself. What does she mean by that? <laughs> It's done wonders for my skin. Have a look. Forward. Oh, thank you. You're such a sweetheart. We should get to know each other better. I feel like you and I are on the same wavelength. Till next time, then. I don't remember them throwing themselves this much at you in the original version. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Like, it wasn't exactly difficult to get married in the in the original, because you had to. But <laughs> I don't, don't remember everyone did me like, Oh, first day on the farm, hello, would you like to have relations? <laughs> like, oh, whoa, whoa. You're just, you're just saying, you're just going out there and saying it, aren't you? Wow. Right, where the fuck's Gordy at? What are you doing down here? Oh, it's a farm doing well. If you end up with a with a with a dairy, <laughs> I was gonna say if you end up with a dairy surprise, 
Like, I don't know what you mean by that. Like, oh, dairy surplus. Oh, okay. Dairy surplus. <laughs> That's different to a dairy surprise. I don't want a dairy surprises. I, I'm not sure I want to know. They tell me where... I mean, it claims he's in this area, though. There he is. Yo, you're that farmer, right? My name's Gordy. I make art out of metal. And I was gonna make a joke about like when he was in the intro, like, like oh, I guess he's like a, you know, he's making modern art or whatever. But it, yeah, no, that that is it. Need something? I'm here about your request. for going all the all, for all the trouble i appreciate it yeah have this as a thank you thanks for the milk no. thanks for the milk buddy no 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 it's not milk it's milky soup oh what did you put in it that made it soup i, I didn't put anything in it i just put milk <laughs> How to make milky soup. Step one, get milk. Step two, you're done. You're done, baby. That's it. You've got milky soup. <laughs> like, have you got milky soup or have you just got milk? I'm, I'm getting I'm getting too caught up on milky soup. It's blowing my mind. It's changed my, my world view. It's changed my life. I mean, you clearly put it on like, you know, on the, maybe like on the stove or something. So, yeah. It's not milky soup. It's just hot milk. It's just warm milk. It just warmed up milk, but it doesn't make it. That doesn't make it soup. But what do, what does make things soup then? What makes something soup? What made that milk milky soup? I got I got I got to move past this. Playing hooky from farm work to go for a stroll, huh? Let's see how it is. Hey, hey, I'm just messing with you. Don't sweat it. It looked like you were having a staring contest with the river, but I figured you were probably just overworked or something. Not everyone gets this level of concern from a stud like me, by the way. Just saying. Everyone's just mad. I don't, I don't remember this game being this horny as a kid. Everyone's just immediately like, hey, what's up? You want to get together? I was like, whoa. I'm here to do farm work. Keep it in your pants, town folk. Anyway, listen, you've got to relax your shoulders. I've never seen anyone so intense in my life. You don't take time to chill. Your life's gonna chew you up and spit you out. Come on, let's hang out and shoot the breeze. Oh, I, I know that look. You're thinking, wow, this guy is so cool. I gotta know more about him, right? Ah, I'm thinking the opposite of that. I think anything the, the the exact opposite. This guy sucks. Fuck this guy. Well, first of all, thank you. I'm flattered, really. Second of all, you're in luck because I'm happy to reintroduce myself as many times as you need. My name's Rock. I live over at the Layover Inn with my parents. Gotta be a good son and watch over him, you know how it is. Oh, but that's the easy stuff. We gotta dig deeper. I'll tell you a few of my favorite things. Hope you're ready for this. All about taking it easy. No work, no pressure, no nothing. Me, myself, and I live in the dream. People do whatever they want in Forgotten Valley, and that's what makes it awesome, you know? Do you think an all plain, no work lifestyle would be chill here, but everyone's got a problem with it? And I'm just like, why? He who doesn't work, doesn't eat, <laughs> then starve. That is pretty weird. Right? It's messed up. Oh, no, I, di I didn't mean that. I meant you. I'm psyched to meet someone else who understands. I think you and I are going to get along just fine. Here's to a beautiful friendship, bud. Anyways, I've got to go back to doing what I love. A whole lot of nothing. Catch you around. It's gotta be the best season of the year. It's finally getting warmer out. Well, okay, I mean, I was busy every second of the day, but here in the valley, I can take things easy and it's pretty relaxing. Oh, I may, I may make him sound vaguely sinister. I can take things easy. It's pretty relaxing, actually. Oh, oh, he didn't fucking Takakura didn't introduce me to the best character in the world ever. The fucking homeless guy. I'm called Pui. Traveling to Cocoa Island, very far away. It's a dream of mine to get there. My purse must jingle jangle very loudly. I traded many items of mine for coins, but still it was not enough. You have the face of a good person. Yes, I can tell. Would you have? Would you help your good new friend Pui's dream happen? 
Oh, it's very full of food. Many tasty morsels on the ground, just waiting to be collected. <laughs> yes, the morsels. That's funny. They, I, I don't like they made him less stinky. He was very stinky in the original. I like that. I like that. I like that there was just a little stinky, a little stinky, stink, stinky little goblin homeless man in the first one. Maybe calling him a goblin is a bit rude, but he was a bit of a goblin in the original. He's a bit of a hippie goblin in this one, but you know, I, I, I kind of resent the fact that they've they've distinct him. They fucking they yassified him. They can call him Pui as much as they want. They they fucking. <laughs> They they yassified my homeless guy. <laughs> they they yassified the best character in the game. I uh, will not accept it. So, <laughs> so hopefully somebody's out there making a mod to fucking get him back to his stinky old self. I do wonder if people do stuff like that. Like I never really um like I had the uh, the story of the. Friends of an Old Town remake on um, I had that on Switch. I didn't have it on Steam, but I I don't know how much like how good the modding scene for that game was, but um, I do wonder if you know if people did things like oh I'm going to mod back in like everyone's original names you know like <laughs> that's exactly the type of thing that modders do. You know it, it's one thing to be like you know. I don't know, I guess to actually care about it to a real degree. Like, I, it's easy to be like, you know, on stream and say like, Oh, they changed the character's name. That's not my fucking Wally. Why isn't he called Wally, Wally anymore? Why isn't she called Muffy anymore? But it's like at the end of the day, Oh, oh well, I don't, it's a game. I don't care that much. Um, <laughs> but then, you know, it's, it's one thing to like be the step up from that and actually care about it. It's then a step further to be like, uh, oh, I'm now going to mod the game to put their original names back. It's like, uh, wow. Uh, imagine if you use that dedication to something that mattered. <laughs> there you go. I'm gonna have some watermelons for days. I have no idea if there's a way to tell how much uh, water your watering can has. Doesn't seem to suggest. Doesn't seem to say. I have a feeling teaching your dog tricks is going to do absolutely nothing. But, uh... I don't know, we, 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 we can't all be... can't all be save the homeland with the, uh... Extreme fucking... <laughs> you got to teach your dog how to do fucking everything to get two of the endings. My research focuses primarily on energy efficiency. A fascinating topic, isn't it? Perhaps I'll let you sit in one of my experiments sometime. Hey there, I hope you'll swing on by and visit us at the Bluebird Cafe anytime you need some rest after a long day's work. Oh, they still got that though. Like, oh, that's kind of funny. Uh, they've got all of this. They've got all of this. Hang on, who do I know? Who, who do... Why doesn't Gordy like me? I gave him his milky soup. What the fuck? Fuck you too, Gordy. And same with Sully, I, all I did was talk to him and he was like, just, this guy is talking to me too fucking much. Can he like, get the fuck away from me? Wow, this is this is why, why does everyone hate me? Why why does everyone hate? Me? I feel so sad. Um, yeah, no, they've, they've still got like all of this. They've got this whole like, they've st they've still got the uh, old old fashioned that thing. I think they have to rename it to the cafe. It's there's not a bar anymore. Cafe. I wonder if they still have the drinking contest event. 
That was like one of the events in the original game. It was like definitely like... Like some sort of like, you know... Drinking content. And it was definitely supposed to be like... Like they didn't call it alcohol because they wanted a nice friendly rating, but... You know... Definitely was alcohol. Things with you getting used to work yet, if you ask me, it's best to go your own speed, no need to rush things. Ah, you're the new farmer that's moved in, aren't you? Cooper right to have life in Forgotten Valley treating you. You know, I myself ended up here after travelling all over the world, and before I knew it, I was running the inn. Maybe I'll see if uh, Nami was in, but nope, she's still as elusive as ever. Unless that's her down the beach, in which case, never mind, found her. <laughs> you know you'd end up if you cross the ocean here? Okay, if you don't, not knowing it's more fun anyway. Use your imagination to try and picture what's there. Hi, I'm Nami, by the way. <laughs> I got the water goes pretty deep. This is straight into knee height. Come on, Brenda, get inside. What's uh, in the ledger? The brown cow will produce chalky milk. Mmm. Time for the daily dairy. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about feeding cows. Mm. Look, today is good. Honestly, as the best part, and your smile will bring good fortune. What if you still sleep in like six-hour segments or whatever it was? They may not. I think you just wake up at six a.m. Oh my god, they made they made the game normal. Oh no. I can't get used to this.
Does not tell them how much water is in, in like in the watering can. Build up. <laughs> Build it up. Oh, I forgot you can milk your cows twice a day. So I should have milked Brenda twice. Ugh. What a fool I've been. He's aching for a milking. <laughs> it's awful, awful combination of words, truly. <laughs> no new requests. But what if somebody needs milky soup? I wonder if milky soup sells more than regular milk. His, his milk, oh, that, you know, they charge that much for that. And his milky soup, we charge this much for soup for milk that we've just warmed up. But by the time it gets to you, probably will have gone cold again. So. It's a fucking Muka Muka thing for. What's it called? Pre ordering the game that I did like two hours before the game released. <laughs> hey, 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 we found. Nice to meet your nature sprites. This means you reached chapter one. You found one of the wonders so far. Awesome. You found round noses and flop ears. It means you obtained one animal. Oh, you can't sell the milky soup? What the fuck? Why can't I sell the milky soup? What if people want, you know, what if I want to sell milky soup? That's bullshit. That's, that's complete bullshit. That's bullshit to the highest degree. I need, I, you know, I want to sell my recipe. What the fuck? What else are you supposed to do with them if you can't sell recipes? Can't sell, quick like, cooked meals. My name's Charlie, crafter of the world's best fireworks. And confuse me with my brother Cole, who's our only second best. Hello there. I'm Cole, second best crafter of world class fireworks. Good to meet you. In case you're wondering, my twin brother Charlie is the best. At least they're honest about it. Oh, it's the fucking shed from the original that never opened. I can't believe they took out. I can't believe they put. They they took out pointless, uh, pointless shed. Woo! Whoopie goes. <coughs> it ain't your normal abode, but this is home to us. Just uh, try not to bump into anything, okay? Hey there, whipper snapper. Hmm. How's about playing a little game with me? Oh, I love games. <laughs> Good, good. Come at me with all you got. Let me explain the rules. Yes. Gotcha. Here's the gist of it. There's a territory game where you and I duke it out to see who can place the most lines on top of the board. If you surround a space with your own colored lines, it means it turns it into your territory. Oh, you can't choose lines that have already been picked. If the line's taken, that's all she wrote. No take backs. The smallest territory on the board is one of these little triangles, but it could take you several turns at once. But it could take several at once if you're an adventurous. Yo, he made the Triforce. If you surrounded your opponent's lines with your own, then those lines are all yours. Being like that, it's fair game. However, if your opponent's fully claimed some territory already, you can't take that. There's for the rest of the game. On the bright side, you can always use your own territory lines to add to what you already got. And all the lines are filled up, the game ends, and we tally our total. You might have already guessed, but whoever claims the most territory is the winner. 
apparently this game is like hard as fuck and I don't really remember it from like as a kid I just you know I've heard a lot of people say it's hard as fuck <laughs> They weren't lying. <laughs> yes! That is fucking good. That's what you like to see. fucking over for you buddy boy it's fucking over it's over don't know what people are talking about that game's piss easy fucking get good get good you little fucking baby gamers oh uh, fucking easy peasy oh, i'll be dag nabbed I don't think I've ever lost so badly before. You know, pretty darn good. They gotta respect that. Give me money. Well, I don't know, a prize or something. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. In any case, ain't win easy winning against yours truly. Here's a little something for you to celebrate the occasion. Only oh, slide next time, though. When we have a rematch, you can bet your bottom G I'm gonna win. Yeah, that ain't happening. Fucking see ya. 100% victory rate, win rate, never fucking lost. Eat shit. You guys fucking suck. <laughs> the best in the game, in the world, in the universe. Number one. That's me, baby. <laughs> I don't, I'm very humble about it. <laughs> Nami, she's actually out and about. You can actually see her for once. And so you can move when spring rolls around, but I don't get it. What's there to be excited about?
Yeah, they do the crops in like a square pattern. Maybe that's why people do the crops in like a checkerboard pattern. But that's what Vesta does. Do you think? Oh, she, yeah. She, she'd uh, do it in like, you know, the most efficient manner. Maybe she wouldn't. Maybe she's a fool. Uh, no, I don't have your request yet. Where's your C7? Oh, so is it just? Oh no, okay. Strawberries you can't buy. They, 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 like from autumn to spring, and it's like, uh, okay, spring, yeah, okay. But you probably don't want to start them in spring. You don't have too much time with them. I'll buy great into them as well. That's that's actually gonna be the same as like the apple tree. Flowers in summer. And uh what's it called? Bears fruit in the autumn. It's mine. Fine, just thought I'd show you this neat flower that I've got. You don't mind. Oh, fuck, Brenda's dead already. No, no, Brenda. Yeah, you have to put down a lot of fertilizer if you want it to, uh... What's it called? If you want, um... If you want there to be grass. That is a lot. Yo, what's a Takakora? You should, you should, uh, you should settle down and get a family. It's like, thanks, Takakura, day two in the, in the farm, and you're already fucking nagging me to get, get a partner. Thank you. I don't know what any of that stuff means, though. <laughs> I think I always thought the uh, TV channels pointless in the original, and I'm like, oh, I don't know, they still are. <laughs>
Hey there, you know my name already, yeah? Haha, <laughs> right on. I'm John Lennon. It's me, John Lennon. <laughs> he does look a bit John Lennon y, doesn't he? It's me, Gustafa. Did Takakura take you around? It's instantly worst John Lennon impression ever. He went to me, John Lennon. Did, did, did Paul take you around for introductions for your first day here? We didn't have much of a chance to chat that day. <laughs> what a worst day. <laughs> I was hoping we could change that. Don't worry about skipping over me as long as we get to know each other in the end, it's all good. We need to stop by my place whenever I've got to think of music, so maybe we'll sing some songs. Could be fun. I've got this one that goes, imagine all the people. <laughs> you like it? Really good, yeah. Well, the wind's calling, so I'm off. Good luck on the farm, is what I'm assuming you said, but I didn't actually finish reading a sentence. It's event after event. It never fucking happened in the original. The original, you'd be fucked if you could get any cutscenes to happen. <laughs> I thought I'd be taking a walk down to the beach, you know. Oh yes, that sounds splendid, dear. Shall we? Oh, it's up spying on the old folk. What? Oh, it's you. Oh, what am I up to? Oh, I'm just deciding where to go next. Hmm. Alright, I've decided. We're gonna take a stroll over to the villa. Catch you later. Goodbye! Chat. Let's look give stuff for your work in the bar or... Oh, the best option for that. I want to say it was if you want it. Ah. Oh. And then you can give gifts while they're working. I don't even know if that would have stayed the same. Yeah, that's me trying to like... Trying to pull back on my old speedrunning knowledge. And then, you know, may not even be the same anymore. Don't know. Ah, how do you do? Yeah, can't play this one. Seemingly so. Yeah. Because uh, she, because Lumina wasn't, you couldn't marry her in the original. You could marry her in the, uh, in the PlayStation 2 Special Edition. I'm not trying to tell you, why, why does it pick up and then it changes it to a different button? I want to, I want to put it in my bag. Valley's newest resident, Duba, yes? Managing a farm is sure to be taxing, but I wish you success in your travails. Alright, use real words, mate. For my part, I shall endeavour to serve Mistress Romana to the best of my ability. I can't believe, can't, can't believe Nami lied. She did. She didn't come up to the uh, the villa like she said she would. Maybe she's trying to get rid of me. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, hello. You're in the midst of machinery, you hear? It may be dry enough to sit on, but no sitting. No, no, actually sitting on the uh, on the benches. Zero out of ten game. You can't sit on the benches, and they changed the title screen music. What the fuck? And they made the hobo less stinky. Zero out of ten game. Sorry. Uh, no, I can still refund it. I still got time. Oh, it's a very full many tasty mortals on the ground. If I do it, mortals love it. I love that weird little fella. He's such a weird little fella. He's just, he's just a weird little fella. Love him. Why not? Everyone just about to leave me fucking trip balls. Oh, it is just something that's a recipe for all the humans in Forgotten Valley have been talking about. You should make it too. Unberry salad. It's called milky soup. And all you do is you get milk. And bam! You've got milky soup. Alright, no new recipe right now. I don't know, they all just like... They think you, you learn one recipe and it's like, uh, I don't have any fucking recipes for you. And it's like, hey, oh, I, was, I wasn't asking you that. Hey. Oh, even kind of sounds like someone doing a very shit job then. Hey there. Now, uh, where should I play my guitar? <laughs> I mean, my, my, my John Lennon still work. I think whoever's doing that voice isn't trying to do a John Lennon voice. <laughs> Brenda, get inside! Get inside, Brenda! Assuming such hoping. Oh, they've given me fodder. There's the. Uh... There it is. That's money have I got. Well, not not making much at the moment. Wait, wait for these crops to be done and then it's coming in the money. We're in the money. Oh, hey, if it ain't Uber. I'm settling in okay? I had to hear it, but you've never worked on a farm before, right? It's gotta be tough. If you ever find yourself in trouble, I'd be happy to lend a hand. Ooh, let me go tell my brother Matt to pitch in too. I'm teaching him the ins and outs of agriculture, so I hope you'll let us help you out. Get it? Ha ha! That's a really good joke, Master! Wowee! <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what that bit was. <laughs> what? I'm busy. Wait, just come here. Hey, 
Here's the deal, little bro. If that Uber is never in a bind, you, you should have given me a full support, all right? What? Why? Fuck that guy. Because the guy is a hop in place with Uber. With, with Uber. <laughs> if he ended up packing his bag and leaving because he couldn't hack it, it'd be a crying shame. Often. Guess I've seen more people wandering around. Maybe. Uh, there you go with your prickly penis act again. What? <laughs> Oh, wait just a gosh darn second. And I forgot to take care of Afraid it's real urgent, so I gotta make like a fruit tree and leave. Huh? Try to turn around over if you'll excuse me. Counting on you, Matt. What? Hey, wait. Sorry about this, she's not exactly the best listener. Well, I'm glad it doesn't bother you. Oh, so yeah. I think that was supposed to be like a uh, that was supposed to be like a uh. Anyway, what's up? Are you having trouble with your crops? Need any help? Oh, uh, good, good. Well, um, I've got work to do, so bye. Okay, bye. Yeah, sell me fertilizer. No, sell me fertilizer, you deft cow. <laughs> hey, those see Vesta knows how to do a fucking job. Beg your pardon. Uh, hello there. You wouldn't happen to remember me from the other day, would you? Who? Who the fuck are you? No, not don't remember you at all. I remember the little hobo. I remember the hobo guy though. I didn't even meet him on my first date, but I remember him because he's just a cool little fella. Who the fuck are you? Can you um? Can you see that building up there on the hill, the villa? I mean. I live there with my aunt Romana and our butler Sebastian. I moved to the valley when I was very young, so I've not been able to sit and chat with many people my own age. I heard you moved in, and I'd hoped the two of us could get along. In any case, I do hope we have another opportunity to chat sometime. Until then, bye! I mean, depending on if they've kept the ages of the characters from the original game, then I've been like, oh, I do wish I, you know, it'd be nice to have somebody who, uh, you know, my own age to talk to. She, she still fucking doesn't, because she's like 16 in the original version, and your character's in his 20s, I think. And I was like, uh, no, you're a kid, I ain't fucking talking to you. in the air must be the rain there's, there's rain in the air mm, must be the rain oh there we go okay cool didn't know you could do that but now i do oh no 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 i'm not i'm not falling for it again brenda brenda you fucking you're getting a second milking today you <laughs> You don't know what's about to hit you. Well, maybe you do. It's, it's, the, it's the milker. That's spe specifically, that's what's going to hit you. Get, get, your, get your fucking udders out. Get your udders out, girl. It's <laughs> fucking...
<laughs> Go to bed. It's like, whoa, a bed. It's like, yeah, gee, I wonder what you fucking should do in that. Whoa, feet. Or homeless guy's feet. Hey, there's a note from Takakura. Hope you're getting used to things here. Check my notes if you have any fucking... Jesus Christ, my dude. A uh, house. Yep, there's a house. Wow, we... You can cook. You can cook. You want to cook so Wait, what am I cooking on otherwise? Oh, I literally just cooked on like a stove. Okay. I'm gonna cook certain recipes. Once you get the space for it, can I can bring you one. You try cooking different recipes when you can. The more you practice, the more you'll learn. There are plenty of good cooks in the valley you can teach you. Keep an eye out for recipe notes too. It's a record player in your house. Every job's a little easier when you got a tune to whistle to. If you get your hand on any new records, put them on the record player and you're all set. You've got a lot of music lovers in the valley. If you get along with them, they might give you an old record or two. Banner on the wall, this local festival from Van's market days. Give it a look from time to time. Whoop, it's there with more. What's this? Oh, this is photos. today. I wonder if Van's still gonna, still gonna come along with uh, it absolutely pissing it down. You can have your money if you want to know what place it, take a pour with a whole bunch of notes on it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Greetings, you're the young inheritor of the farm, I presume. My name is Carter, a pleasure to meet you. If you wish to lend a hand at the dig site, just say the word. Hey, would you like to buy milky soup? Isn't that just milk? No! No, it's not! It, it's soup! Yeah, it's a very milky soup, it's sure, but it's soup alright. Hmm. It tastes like milk. Oh, that's because it's so milky. It's a very milky soup. That's why it tastes like milk. Buy my milky soup. Soup, buy milky soup, soup. Uh, twenty-five G. Oh yeah, baby, making money. You dumb fucking idiot. You can get them at the bottom of fucking Celia's farm for free. Ah! Still 25G. Go on, buy some, buy some more. Keep buying more, more things. That's roughly how far away you can walk before. 
Where's it in the moonlight door? How much you plan to charge? Hundreds. Yeah, baby, make your money. Make your cash, cash, money, cash. When Van comes, so he can still set up his shop. Hey, these townsfolk are suckers. They're abso absolute suckers. Absolute fools. So easily parted with their money. Yeah, nobody wanted my milky soup, like, yeah, you know, possibly the only legitimate thing I was selling. And they were all just like, nah, fuck that, I, I can make milky soup, I've got milk at home. I might not even come by this rain. I, I genuinely don't know. Like, Carter, if you're not gonna buy from me, you fuck off. Stop getting my hopes up. What else can I put on here? I need to put regular milk. Fuck it. Whoa, milk, milky soup. Uh, no thanks, but milk. Oh, I'll take some milk if that's going. You're selling milk, hell yeah. Okay, I think that's enough shopping for today. Then fuck off back up to your mines. I walked like too far away so the music stopped. Okay, no one else is buying. Hey, you say there, it's me, Sean Lennon. All we are saying is give peace a chance. Something really fun about this place. Yeah, I'm sure you do think that, Yoko. <laughs> Two fruits and a tomato make one heck. Everyone says heck in this game. Make a mod that replaces every heck with the word fuck. <laughs> For the true adult experience. <laughs> oh, two fruits and a tomato. Oh, there's Van. Van the man. Today, I'm but a humble traveling salesman who wanders the world after... Others the chance to own a number of rare and unique items. My wares will be available for purchase on the 3rd and 8th of every month. Please do drop by. I think that was supposed to be the idea of him in the original game. Like, he would, I'm, I'm sure it was supposed to be like, oh yeah, he comes by on the 3rd and the 8th. 
But in practice, he just comes whenever the fuck he wants. <laughs> he's just like, Van, fuck off. I'm gonna do stuff here. So I guess if you're playing the original game casually, you kind of don't care if he just swings by when he wants. In speedruns, it was very annoying though. Still that much. You know, whatever I bought yesterday, I think I've I've immediately made it back through uh, selling flowers. <laughs> cool. Good to know, I guess. Welcome. No, oh, wait, no. <laughs> no, hey, there you are. Welcome. Not, hey, there, you are welcome. <laughs> what? Welcome for what? what? What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, Gavin. That's what he's called nowadays. Gavin. Oh, looks like all that sort of stuff is still the same. <laughs> Keep out, you naughty thing. Charlie's upset with me because I beat his ass in shitty fucking game. Ha ha, eat shit. Sucks to be you, Charlie. Sucks to suck. Ooh, yes, I'm like a brush. Wonder fur light. the fishing rod. So you can still stuff like your meals and whatever, but you have to... I think yeah, you have to wait until Van comes around. Oh, I thought I could haggle. I know you can haggle with him on some things. Maybe that's only the goat that you could haggle with him on. give milk all the time you know if they're about to give birth you can't milk them after they give birth though they'll give you more milk than usual for a little while keep that in mind you should raise your cows thanks Takakura I will
it's funny because I wonder if like um, I wonder if getting horses still as much of a pain in the ass in the original as it was. Is it? But it, it, if it's as much a pain in the ass in this one as it was in the original. But it's like I'm pretty sure the only reason I remember it being a pain in the ass to get a horse in the original game is because I only ever remember it in the context of getting it in the speed runs. <laughs> yeah. Whereas I'm sure if you just played the game normally, you just get it. You know, eventually you just get a horse and it would be normal. But like in the speed run, you know, oh, we've got to do very specific things. I mean that 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 that's kind of just. I mean, maybe I think that's cute. Like there isn't like a selfie mode. You know, it's like a no 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 no. There's no selfie mode. You put your camera on timer and you <laughs> run to like fucking <laughs> to where it, like you get get a good view. True, truly is old fashioned. It's a huge wakasagi, and it's got googly eyes on it. Hell yeah. It's a mini wakasagi. I guess it's a regular wakasaki. I was about to say, like, oh, the fishing rod has already paid for itself. I was like, wait, no, that, that's just how much money I have. It very much has not paid for itself yet. <laughs> it's paid for um, a fifth of itself, I think. Easy soup to know and love. Sweet potato soup. Sweet potato. You just I, well, I know, okay. I mean, at least that you can't. Like, you kind of know. Oh, they're not just literally whacking a sweet potato in a pot and heating that up and going. There you go. You know, they're presumably like popping it and sort of blending, it, pureeing it, whatever. Tomatoma soup. Tomatoma soup. Tomato and carrot. Okay. mellow soup. Tomato and melon, tamakaro soup, tomato and carrot. Wait, what was it? Was that not also the recipe for, um... I'll check recipes. Hang on, guys, you gotta do that thing. Was that not also the, the, the tomato and carrot? Was that not also the recipe for tomatoma soup? Oh, those are salads, I think. Never fucking mind. They're literally like soup, uh, sweet potato, like boiled in water, seemingly. Ooh, oh, what was that? That was two, two fruits and, uh, and a tomato. That. 
That's that one. I guess I, I think I just, I just don't know that one. That's like I don't know. If you two, put two fruits and a vegetable together, you may get something. I don't whether or not it has to be specific ones. I don't know. Just a check. I am good. Let's see. It's just like Cecilia. Sorry, get a name right. Uh, Cecilia is just like, oh, you got my request yet? It's like, yeah, it's fucking easy. Tomorrow's take a while to grow. Okay. That's what it got. If her request ends up like ending before I can actually fucking grow a tomato, it's so mad. <laughs> Yeah, I was like mashing, mashing the button after uh, like you start really wanting. I, d I don't think you need to do that. That's sad to me when I first came to the valley, but people here don't really seem to mind the rain, huh? Opening up your shop today? Uh, no, because this fat ass is here. Hey, enjoying yourself. Hello, oh, did you need me for something? Mm, I think it's rare for me to be here. I could not tell you. You've been I've been here three days and you've been here one out of three. Is it is that rare? So you know Charlie can't be beat when it comes to crafting fire. When it comes to our luxurious locks, I've got him beat by a hair. <laughs> yeah. Hey, do you want some milk? I do wonder how I feel about this when it comes to it because, um. Oh, I you, um. Because, yeah, so. It, spoilers for this game if you have never played it before. But, um. You have to get married by the end of the first year. Well, by the time the first year ends, like, you have to get married. The game forces it upon you. Um. But so then because of that, I feel like compared to a lot of other Harvest Moon Story of Seasons games, um, it kind of feels like there doesn't end up seeming like a lot of time to actually get to know 
the different the different bachelors and bachelorettes. And I do wonder if that you know if I'll still feel that way by the time it gets to the end of this year, or if I'll be like, no, you know, they sort of throw enough events that you that you can sort of go. Actually, I don't mind this character. I'd rather go for someone else or whatever. I mean, it's the, it's the fact that there's still only like a few characters. There's still only like four, you know, four bachelors, four bachelorettes. It's, it's not a whole lot. Well, it seems to suggest that they might have more, uh, more recipes if I go back. Well, the recipe I found about this one recently: egg soup. Just put an egg in some soup, and there you have it. Put some milk, eggy soup. <laughs> egg, egg soup, and it's just an egg. An egg in water. I mean, this dog's pretty good, it just does all the tricks immediately. It just does all the tricks straight away, it's just completely okay with it, I was like, god damn. I still can't, uh, still can't give Cecilia her bloody tomato that she wants because they haven't fucking grown yet.
Yeah, that's exactly what your husband said. Once you do fucking stop par parroting each other, hey? Eh? Hello there, sweetie. You're more than welcome to visit whenever you find yourself a time to spare. How to make marinade. Any fish plus aromatic herb and tomato will turn it. Mm. And here's Sebastian's little shit shack. <laughs> That's where Sebastian lives. <laughs> That's where the butter lives. In the little shed in the corner of the estate. I still read that like opening line of dialogue as hey there you are welcome mm -hmm. wow fuck you Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm? Oh gosh, it's just you. You scared me. Well, it's lovely today, don't you think? So glad it stayed nice out. Yeah. I was working on the farm. Everything going okay? That's wonderful to hear. Oh, but I should get going. Have a good rest of your day. Now this still works anything like the original GameCube version. There's a, there's like a way you can do that cool scene that gets you more like affection, but it's been so long I don't remember. <laughs> Basically, I'm like most of this, most of like my like how I view this game is through like the the lens of like oh, I played it as a kid, so I don't really remember that. And also, I used to speedrun it years ago, but I don't really remember that either. <laughs> That's like, I remember small things about it. Oh. 
I feel like Gordy should be in a negative. So we somehow, I, you know, I came gave him gave him his fucking milky soup, and I feel like his fucking feelings went down. He was like, "Ugh, yeah, I, I can't believe what he did. I can't believe he did that for me." Fucking needy much. I just wonder what happens if you try and leave the valley. Because in the original, yeah, in the original, take a shot every time I fucking say in the original. Um, this used to be fucking Game Boy, Game Boy Advance uh, stuff. Wouldn't be nice to visit one of the faraway towns across the pass for a change. Trips take about six hours. What? Only there was a seaside shack in the valley too. Oh, it, it seemed to advance time. Green's still fast asleep. Where the, where the fuck is the harvest goddess? What this place needs. I bet you she got lost. Oh, something needs to happen before the goddess can come here. One thing, it's got to look like a spring fit for a goddess. Would make all the animals who live nearby as happy as can be. We've got to collect a bunch of wonderful things. Let's get to it. We'll gather up all the wonders we can find. Yeah, and make this place even more wonderful. We want to make something wonderful anyway. We're ready time for a wonderful adventure. Adventure, adventure. Wonderful, wonderful. What are we even looking for? I kind of cool that they seemingly are trying to add stuff to this version as well. Like, I don't, I don't think there was anything about, like, the goddess in the original. It was just like, uh, the goddess isn't here. Fuck you. <laughs> I don't like that he was like half blinking during that. Like, mm. and the fucking sly eyes to Brenda. No. Things on the cork board. <laughs> I was like, why did, why did he have to like? Why did he have to start? Like he started the blink animation. Now it's like, yeah, you fucking know what I'm about to do to this cat. It's like, no, no. Why did you have to fucking throw a fucking seductive look to the camera when you're standing next to a cat? It's weird. <laughs>
Come on, we gotta be getting getting some stuff soon. Come on. We're gonna be getting some stuff soon, yeah? Okay, we got we got five days left. Oh, that's gonna be like uh, they only come in at the begin. They like they only come in at the beginning of the season. I bet. The requests that is in case. No, it was clear to me because I knew what I was thinking about. <laughs> But if I find Nina, she'll say exactly the same thing. I mean, Pokemon Coliseum ass music. <laughs> the mirror B <bee> fight. <laughs> An egg, a tomato, and a guitoma. Guitoma together for the perfect nutrition. L learn the recipe, but I don't know what a fucking guitoma is. in there oh i know that there's a family that moves in there in like chapter two i, I don't remember who they are I wonder why it's called Toma Toma when it's tomato and carrot. You think it'd be called like tomarit soup or something like that? And like Toma Toma soup would be two tomatoes, you know, a very, very tomato y soup. But this is like, no. No, this, this is the, the uh, tomato carrot soup, is the Toma Toma. To the advice. <laughs> uh, I don't even know what to do anymore. Oh, good. Birds having a fucking existential crisis on me. Very sick. I don't know why it isn't in analog. That's so weird. It's so weird that the directions aren't all 360. I don't get that. It's like nothing to actually care about, but it's just it's odd. That's the sort of thing, if you're making a game in 3D, surely that's like the default nowadays. <laughs> it feels like it'd take more effort to fucking make things stick to angles rather than just have it in 360 degrees. But whatever.
Oh, he um, hello there. You must be Uber, I take it. Well, I'm Flora, an archaeologist. I help Professor Carter with the dig fight. You got any recipes around here? You want to get the fuck out of my way? No, see, seemingly not. I'm asking about the request. I don't have any fucking tomatoes yet. Get over it. Whether they do all have like the little <laughs> neutral faces. But like, I don't know, everyone's just like, yeah, mm. you know. I, mean, I don't hate him. I don't like him either. <laughs> like, ah. Oh. It's like growing, but it's a bit. Definitely don't. I mean, oh, did I? I don't know if I planted one there. I don't think I did. <laughs> Easy, delicious soup recipe. One egg. Whoa. And I had to learn that from the fucking harvest points. That that's a ripoff. I could have learned that from Takakura. Fish better be fucking sick, please. Otherwise, you're gonna smack.
Oh, a little wakasagi. Uh, only only wakasagis in spring it seems. You gotta fish somewhere else. Well, I mean, I fished somewhere else, but you know. Maybe, maybe they're not wakasagis in the ocean. There's wakasagis at the bottom of the ocean. Or there might not be. Maybe. Hey, something else. A little scad. We got fish. We got fish, fish, more fish and milk. We got fish and milk. Would you like some fish and or milk, kid? Can you even buy stuff? Oh yeah, there you go. Well, I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna undercharge you because you're not a fucking idiot. I wish you could overcharge, to be true, <laughs> to be honest. I, I wish you could go like, oh, it's this much, yeah. You know, go like, I have a fucking reason to have like the whole little mini market set up. You know, I'm sure if you undercharge them, then you know, they, they, they become friends with you and they like it, but. It's like I uh, no, I I I wanna I wanna scam these suckers. Dude, Gary, fucking Gary. His name's not Gary. I'm not accepting that. The Gary over here. He could be my best friend. I'm gonna un undercharge him and everything. I'm like, oh, Gary, my man, Gary, Gary. Fucking, tell you what, 
it's fish. It's usually 25G. But, uh, you can have it for 22. Whoa, big old saver to 3G. Hell yeah. That's, that's the, that's the money savings we like to see, isn't it, Gary? Fucking Gary. I mean, whatever reason you want to have for, like, you know, changing the names from the original release. You can't call an old man Gary. <laughs> it's not right. They don't, there's no old men called Gary. They don't exist. Now, when did this become a thing? Uh, is there any fish here too, or just... Make sure you just sell them at the market. Or at vans. You know, in that sense, I get why, you know, you possibly can't oversell, overcharge the market, because then, like, what would be the point in selling stuff to Van? But even then, I guess that's just because you can't fucking, um, you can't sell stuff yourself when Van's here. I'm postulating your sunny disposition tissue when I brainstorm. Alright, fuck you too, Daryl. Bye! Thing that uh, I'm pretty sure there was anyway. There was a, there was a thing that said how much Ram was like you. Oh, there it is. Thank you. 
So is it, was that the one that I did here where it was like the one that required the uh Gritomato or whatever the Gritomo or whatever it was called? I don't know. I'm assuming I guess if you don't know what the fucking uh, thing is, then. Oh, it's just... I think it reflect settings. I don't know how... I don't know what that means, reflect settings. <laughs> like, like, it seemed to be just go back to previous ones, but... Uh, I think I'm going to call that here for today. Um, I know it's a bit early, but I feel like I've started, already started running out of things to say. This is, this is felt like a... <laughs> I've been really enjoying this, but it's felt like a much more difficult one to stream than some other uh, story of seasons and Harvest Moon games have been. Um, I don't know why that is, but yeah. Um, I might stream more of this, but I might also just play more of it offline. I, I, I don't know. I do not know, but we'll see. But anyway, that is going to be it for me. So thank you all for watching and hanging out. Um, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.